Good afternoon, everybody, uneducated economist here. So, I just want to give a thank you to handystraws.com. Um, they're not paying me or anything. They just sent me this wonderful little postcard. It says, appreciate your channel, Simon. Long time listener. So, thank you very much, handystraws.com, for sending me the postcard. I really appreciate that. I um, wanted to leave a link down in the description for you guys to an article talking about what a lot of foreign central banks are doing with their dollars right now because something interesting has taken place as the dollar reserve currency and issues that are having that they are having with the dollar strengthening against their currencies has led them to start using their dollar holdings to buy their currency to try and add some strength to their currency to keep them from devaluing any further from the dollar so this is pretty interesting times because it's quite dramatic what's taking place right now. And like I said, this is the demand for dollars that is out there that is going to continue to grow. And right now we see things kind of shifting around a little bit. People are feeling a little bit better about things as far as the dollar not strengthening. Everybody's talking about when the Federal Reserve is going to pivot. They're not going to pivot. They're not pivoting anytime soon. They're going to keep the interest rates elevated for a significant amount of time. They have already said it. We are going to experience some pain in the economy. And now, what I find interesting is that a lot of people are coming to me asking me, it's just like, man, what's gonna happen? What's it gonna look like? What are prices gonna do? What What is the markets gonna do? Should I buy this piece of property? I mean, it's amazing like, like how many people actually come to me looking for financial advice, even though I say it all the time, I'm not a financial advisor. I have no idea what you're supposed to do with your money. That's what you need to figure out. But a guy came to me today asking me about a piece of property. He says, dude, I want your opinion on this piece of property. What do you think is going to happen with the economy? Should I buy this thing? And I mean, immediately I'm like, man, I don't know. Like, what am, what am I supposed to say, man? If you go into this piece of property and everything turns and you end up losing out big time on it, you're gonna come back and say, man, I took your advice or something on it, right? So that's why I don't really give advice like this. But what I ended up telling him, because I said, well, okay, tell me about the piece of property, you know? And actually it seemed like a pretty good deal that he had going. He didn't give me the exact number on how much he was gonna end up paying or signing the deal for on it. But if I got it right, it was a fourplex. So it's four units that could be rented out. And what I ended up telling him was like, well, here's my honest opinion of things. I don't really see where property, price, property prices are going to continue to rise, at least nothing significant, right? If they do go up, you're talking very small percentages, something very insignificant. <clears throat> but rents are going to remain expensive. They're gonna remain elevated. If people aren't buying houses and new homes aren't being built, well, then they're renting. And that creates more demand for rents. So over the short term, even to the medium term, I can't see where rents are going to do anything but either go up or at least for a recessionary kind of period, stay stagnant. So whatever you expect out of your rents now, I just can't think of it being any kind of situation where they would be any less than they are today. So buying a piece of property for a rental income seems pretty good to me. Buying it for property value, maybe not so much. And that's what I ended up having to tell them is that I'm not a financial advisor, but from the way I see things, that's the way I would do it. Interest rates are incredibly high. So buying pieces of property right now, especially on a mortgage is not like the greatest position to be in. I take a look at the house that I have purchased and the interest rate that is now attached to a mortgage that would be to the value of the home. Let me see if I'm saying this right. At today's mortgage rates and what the Zillow estimate says of the house, I would be paying almost a third more for the house and payments which is just incredible to think about. I mean, to pay a whole third more in house payments. Now, what's gonna happen from here is anybody's guess. I mean, everybody's talking about a recession. Everybody is expecting it. Everybody's getting prepared for it. And the more I think about it, it's just like the more somebody prepares for a recession, the less likely it's gonna happen. Now, I do believe we are going to feel some significant pain 
but it really makes me wonder what that pain is gonna feel like because generally during a recession, most of the time people are feeling the worst of it because they've lost their job. And still we're sitting in a pretty tight labor market, although I hear a lot of people talk about how they apply for jobs and they don't get them and that there's no good jobs out there. Um, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, I don't imagine that there is good jobs out there that you want to have, right? I mean, that's not the point of a job. A job is to provide you with money and it's not necessarily going to be a good job or a fun job or the job that you dream of or something like that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the available positions that are out there and there's plenty of people who are willing to hire wait staff to work at a restaurant. So it doesn't mean that you want to work that job. It just means that there's a job out there that's available to you. So as the zombie corporations begin to fail, and this is something that we have talked about just recently, and there's plenty of articles out there talking about this as well. As the zombie corporations begin to fail, that's going to cause the unemployment to begin to rise. But it's not necessarily going to rise significantly, at least not in my opinion, as all those service jobs begin to get filled again. So there's going to be a lag time, at least in my opinion, as the corporations begin to fail, those service positions begin to fill up and then eventually the unemployment begins to rise. So this is why the unemployment, or this is why the Fed, she was, I can't speak today. This is why the Fed is saying that the pain is going to be significant, right? Because think about how long that takes to work through all that stuff. Um, you know, something that, I, and I brought this up before, Janet Yellen said, that she doesn't expect that we would ever see another recession in our lifetime. And that is just such a like, I mean, it's such a bonehead statement to make. It's like, it's how could you possibly say this? And now that I think about it a little bit more, it seems to me that these recessions are much more orchestrated than necessarily just all of a sudden happening, right? We knew coming into the pandemic that there was going to be a recession. I mean, it was 12 years running without. It was the longest running expansion in history without a recession. So there was an obvious one coming, but then all of a sudden we had this pandemic and everybody was told to stay home, right? Well, that's manufactured. That was a self-induced recession. So now here we're coming up to another one that people are blaming on the Fed and are going to continue to blame on the Fed as they keep interest rates elevated. And they say that the Fed is causing this recession, right? Self-induced recession, right? The people are already saying it. Hasn't happened yet, but they're already blaming the Fed for the recession and, and the cause of it, so self-induced. So I'm thinking about this again. What is the plan to try and deal with this recession? Because if Janet Yellen is correct, which I don't believe, you know, I'm just saying, you know, going off of that, then there obviously there's going to be something in the works already to deal with the next recession that's coming up so that people barely even feel the effects of it, right? Just like people didn't really understand that we even went through a recession during the pandemic. I mean, a lot of people don't realize that. All right. Thank you very much, Handy Straws, for sending me the postcard. Really appreciate it. Uneducated economist, you guys let me know.